Okay, let's knock this one out. On my days off, I try to play new games. That way I can get through some of the 700 plus games I have rotting on my Steam. Uh, this is going to be the Injustice 2 full game story mode completed final statistics video. The total time spent was 3 hours, 46 minutes, 15 seconds. Uh, total space required for streaming was 119 gigabytes. The quality was 4K 120 FPS. However, when I benchmark the game or look it up online, they do lock the fights at 60 FPS. Uh, my 4K TV is running at 120 FPS, and I have the in-game options also set to 120 Hz. However, it still hard locks it at 60 FPS, which is annoying. But the video recording uh, is 80 megabits per second, and that would be the bit rate, and the frames per second would be 120. Uh, let's see pros the story was pretty cool Controls felt way better for injustice than they did for Mortal Kombat 10 and 11 um, Combos felt much easier. I definitely enjoyed it more this time around The only thing I don't like is they didn't tell you how to do your finisher So if you're playing on controller or if you're playing on mouse and keyboard you want to press U and O together So yeah, that's kind of annoying uh, because your left hand has to hold WASD, your right hand is IJKL, and in between that, you have to press U and O for your finisher. So that's kind of annoying. It'd be easier if they just made the finisher F, F for finisher, and then you just hold F and done. Um, but that's their control setup. I don't know why. It's way better than Mortal Kombat, so I can't really complain because in Mortal Kombat, it was just all jacked up. They want you to press like seven or eight buttons just to do a slide. I was like, no, no thanks. I'm good. Thank you. All right. So uh, the artwork was beautiful. I enjoyed the story. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of negative things to say. This was kind of a laid back three hour and 46 minute movie. That's all it really was. Same with Mortal Kombat. I enjoyed the story more than playing the game. I didn't really care about fighting. I just wanted to listen to the story. At least with these types of games. When I'm playing Apex Legends, I want to fight. I don't really want to listen to a story. So with this type of game, since they developed the artwork so much, it's like a movie. I want to listen to it. The cons. Uh, hmm. I guess would be playing a fighting game on keyboard and mouse. Uh... They did great with the controls, though, so it's it's not really a con. It's just it's more annoying than it would be on controller. On controller, it would feel super easy, just like aim assist. It would feel super easy and make you ten times better. Uh, it really wasn't that bad at all for this game. Same with Injustice 1. With both of those games, the controls felt sufficient. They're not the best in the world, but they're much better than Mortal Kombat. So, yeah, no no real complaints. Uh, they they made Batman like the focus of the intro, and I didn't really care for that. Uh, just because it's it's obnoxious. Batman is a human. He's human. Superman is an alien. You can tell me all day you think Batman can beat Superman. You're wrong. It would be like trying to arm wrestle a fucking car. There's nothing you're gonna you're gonna do more damage to yourself than the car. So there's absolutely no point. So no, I think Batman is a pathetic hero. He's a waste of time. Superman could kill him in one second, or less. So there's no real point in debating it. If people feel otherwise, they're welcome to. Doesn't matter. He's an alien. He's a thousand times stronger. Batman loses. Deal with it. So that's the only con. But it's not really a con, it's just more of a story arc. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this game. I'm going to move on to the next game. Uh, thank you for the likes and subscribes, guys. Again, this is just a fat guy with a beard playing video games. I enjoyed this story. I hope you guys enjoy it. And even if you don't, it's fine. I'm going to play these games regardless, record them, and put them online. Take care.